r slash ask reddit what is associated with intelligence that shouldn't be explaining things poorly often using large words or industry lingo it's way way harder to explain things in a way that can be understood by outsiders you don't really understand something until you can teach it to someone who knows nothing about it someone at some point i assume pretty sure that was alberto Einstein. you're just not smart enough to have heard of him and no there is no relation to that pretend scientist albert einstein glasses you can be dumb with bad eyesight i'm just a moron who can't see quit asking me smart people questions better than being a moron that can see being a smarmy a-hole so many shows and movies depict intelligent people as extremely condescending rude socially inept unlikable people rick and morty big bang theory etc it's gotten to the point that now anyone who is a condescending rude socially inept unlikable a-hole thinks they're smart to be fair you have to have a very high iq to understand rick and morty the humor is extremely subtle and without a solid grasp of theoretical physics most of the jokes will go over a typical viewer's head there's also rick's nihilistic outlook which is deftly woven into his characterization his personal philosophy draws heavily from Narodnaya Vola literature for instance the fans understand this stuff they have the intellectual capacity to truly appreciate the depths of these jokes, to realize that they are not just funny they say something deep about life. As a consequence people who dislike Rick and Morty truly are idiots of course they wouldn't appreciate. For instance, the humor in Rick's existential catchphrase wubba lubba dub dub, which itself is a cryptic reference to Turgenev's Russian epic Fathers and Sons. I'm smirking right now just imagining one of those adulpated simpletons scratching their heads in confusion as Dan Harmon's genius wit unfolds itself on their television screens. What fools. How I pity them. Maybe the only time this is relevant in context. For some people in my country, they judge your intelligence simply on how well you speak English. Like if you're a fluent English speaker some people here assume you're smart for some reason. Edit. As you guys guessed, I'm from the Philippines yeah. Lem guess, you Southeast Asian too? Lem guess, you Filipino too? Internet IQ tests. But, but, but I shared it on Facebook. It was super legit. My results were peer reviewed. Degrees degrees. British accents are definitely associated with intelligence in the states. I'll go out on a limb and say that is not the case. Yep, you are right. Also, I think you are talking about the posh English accent. There are a few accents here that people associate with poor intelligence. 2. Edit. I've been reading the comments and saw that a lot of people have had to change their accents to be taken seriously. All I can say is sorry you had to go through that and I hope your hard work will be noticed by how capable you are, not by your accent. You're right. I'm more likely to take solid financial advice or trust finer points of rocket science from Hugh Laurie than from Danny Dyer. Drinking wine instead of beer, or any kind of food preference. Someone might be brilliant and live on cheese whiz or slow of mind and eat at 5 star restaurants. Wine versus beer is a social class indicator, which historically had a much stronger relationship with education. Workers drank beer, aristocracy drank wine. This doesn't work in France unfortunately, here everyone drinks wine. I'm surprised it hasn't been mentioned much but being Asian, my friend is Chinese and has the IQ of a pair of chopsticks, but since he's Asian and wears glasses, people go to him for taxes and other math problems in their lives. Edit. I didn't actually know that statistically they have a higher IQ, I assumed it was a stereotype. My friend who is Chinese happens to also be really smart, though he also happens to have pretty strict parents that expect him to study practically all the time so maybe it's just that. I think that's where the Asians are smart stereotype comes from. Many Asian cultures are very success driven, so a lot of Asian students in America work their asses off to get good grades and consequently appear to be wicked intelligent. Introversion. Enjoying spending your time alone doesn't make you wise. It means you enjoy your time alone. There isn't much else to it. Related. Being an extrovert doesn't mean you're dumb or shallow. I thought this one might be true. So I looked it up. Seems you're right. The relation of extroversion introversion to intelligence. 
1930. Intelligence and introversion do not coincide. The relation of extroversion to intelligence. Lin 1961. No significant correlation between introversion and intelligence introversion and intelligence. Saklovsk 1990. Intelligence and personality are uncorrelated introversion and spatial intelligence. Dunn 1993. A small but significant relationship was found between scores on extroversion and on the SEC test the relationship between intelligence and personality. Stuff 1996. Amberverts performed significantly better on the IQ tests. Personality and intelligence. Fernum 1998. Intelligence measures were associated with introversion extroversion and intelligence meter analysis. Wolf 2005. Extroversion intelligence correlations have gone down in magnitude and change direction over time. Generally, findings support the hypothesis that intelligence is not correlated with introversion. Great. So I am going to be dumb and alone. Being a cynical a-hole. Hey I'm not a cynical a-hole because I think I'm smart. I'm a cynical a-hole because it's easier than being a friendly optimist. I see you've met reddit. The ability to speak does not make you intelligent. Ah, nice to see you again Keegan. Mesa so happy to see Yasa. Rubik's cubes. Sure there's a certain correlation. Smart people are more likely to try to learn it. But it's 99% memorizing patterns and hand-eye coordination. A league game of basketball involves far more intelligence. It's actually 100% memorization. But I prefer that people think I'm a genius when I solve one. Thanks for saying this. It bothers me how people think solving a Rubik's Cube means you're incredibly intelligent. Education. Yes, I do have a master's from Columbia University. And yes, I did just spend 5 minutes trying to use my driver's license to take cash out of the ATM while complaining that it was broken. It's okay buddy. You just have a certain kind of intelligence. I'm the humbler brag. Getting a degree in STEM. I have a degree in physics and I have the comprehension of Iraq. Well, getting a degree in any field, even a difficult field, doesn't mean you know about other fields. I got a degree in geology and I too have comprehension of Iraq. Big words. Edit. This blew up. My fellow homo sapien. I believe the vocable you were intending is sesquipedalian. Where did you even learn that word? Being stereotypically nerdy looking. There's no correlation between physical attractiveness and intelligence. I would argue that there actually is a loose correlation, but definitely not causation. Do you have data to back this up? Open bracket. Not in a dongish way. If you do, I'm sincerely interested. There could be a third variable mediating this, such as primary school teachers being more attentive to students who look nerdier, or, conversely, falling victim to the halo effect and being more attentive to more conventionally attractive students. Knowledge base. A person can know a lot of information, but not have a great ability at solving problems or doing abstract thinking. I think sometimes knowing a lot of things might make someone more able or willing to consider alternative things, e.g. if they know a lot of history and you're having a debate about politics, maybe they'd be more willing to consider alternate views because they've already read about different historical political systems. Lack of mental health problems my dad often dismisses everything about mental health, because you just need to stop ruining your own life and start using your brain. Geniuses are rife with mental health issues. That's correct. But it's also true the other way around. Some people tend to think that having a depression means that you simply understood something others haven't. There seems to be this notion, here on Reddit, that people with mental health issues are somehow less shallow than normal people. Confidence. Dunning-Kruger effect the less you know, the more you think you know. Being antisocial. Trust me. I'm a loner and I'm stupid. Antisocial equals equals a social. Money. People that are intelligent don't always have money or come from rich families. Some of the most intelligent people I have met were teachers. Just because someone has money or doesn't have money doesn't make them smart or dumb. Edit. Changed phrasing. I work in a liquor store and there have been a few times where customers talk down to me or insult my intelligence. I have a biology degree. I work at a liquor store because I love it and have a passion for wine. 
craft beer, and whiskey. It's even worse because most of the time the people who do it are housewives with the intelligence of a large cow. Hey man. Don't insult large cows. They aren't as rude or stupid as housewives. Owls, they're one of my favorite animals ever. But they really aren't the wise critters we perceive them as. They're not stupid. But I wouldn't rank them as one of the smartest birds ever. They just look that way. Give more of that credit towards parrots and corvids. Watching Rick and Morty. Is this really a thing IRL? I always see people on Reddit making fun of Rick and Morty fans for thinking they're smart. But not once have I seen one of these types of fans. Yeah back before the great schism last year, Reddit was almost exclusively a pro Rick and Morty circular jerk with any criticisms of the show or its fans being downvoted to death. Then one day the switch flipped and all the star bellied sneeches on Reddit got their stars removed. And now it's popular to bash the show and the fans. The retention of knowledge. You guys think I'm so stupid, but I can name all the state capitals. My 22 year old sister. All 27 of them. Cynicism. You're not a genius because you find fault in everything. Just an a-hole. GPA. Especially in certain classes with certain teachers professors. You can really work the system even if you aren't that smart. Honestly it takes some degree of intelligence to work the system like that. Wealth. Grades. Not to say that it can't be an indicator of intelligence. Just that it's not the only one. I got B's during my math undergraduate. I love the subject and teachers consider me talented. I just struggled for 3 plus years of college with undiagnosed bipolar disorder. The grades are wildly permanent and I can never escape the one. One and two. Four semesters I had. And that sucks. Grades are a shit metric for measuring talent in 2018. Verbosity. Effective and efficient communication is the mark of a good writer. Verbosity for verbosity's sake is the mark of a nerdy trillhead. Also atheism and fetishizing science. At least on Reddit. Taste in music. Um you don't listen to postmodern progressive jazzcore? Thinking you are intelligent. An intelligent person realizes just how much they don't know. Rather than pretending they know everything. The political party you belong to, it's not what you stand behind, but why you stand behind it. I have much more respect for someone who holds views I disagree with, yet has researched them well, than someone who agrees with me but is just following the crowd. Making money. I feel that sociopathy is better for making that cream than anything else. Bad handwriting. Having it doesn't make you a genius whose hands can't handle your genius mind. Plenty of idiots have bad handwriting. Open bracket. I have bad handwriting. The ability to memorize trivia. This gets stated a lot when this question shows up on Askredit. But the intellectual curiosity that leads to acquiring trivia, along with the ability to retain and recall information is generally considered an important component of intelligence. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.